Hey there, Aquarius. Welcome to your reading for uh, mid-July 2022. Uh, we're gonna um, drop the entire deck and um, hopefully save the day by um, picking it up. But uh, hold on one second, Aquarius. All right, we're back. Uh, I dropped a lot more than I thought I did, so <laughs> let's try that again. I'm not used to this tiny little uh, card table that I have here, but uh, let's see. Uh, I love it. You have this Jupiter card that says abundance on it. So definitely some abundance coming in for you, but let's see. Probably abundance you've been working for. I like that. I kind of feel like your hard work is paying off in the first row, especially for those of you that have been trying to grow something like a business, could be a relationship, uh, whatever it is, doesn't matter. I feel that there could be a lot of abundance or, you know, some sort of harvest coming in, um, in whatever that is. But uh, let's see here what is going on for you. Something's still missing from your reading. I'm not going to like sugarcoat it and say that it's not. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Maybe we'll figure it out. But you have this uh, Jupiter card that says abundance on it, like I said. So clearly, there could be a lot of abundance coming in for you here. Jupiter will retrograde back into Pisces towards the end of the year. And, you know, that could be really good for you. If, um, even if Pisces isn't your second house, depending when you were born, doesn't matter. Uh, I still feel there could be like a lot of abundance coming in around that time. I feel like there's abundance coming in now um, as well. And clearly it's something that you've attracted. You have the magician showing up right here. The thing that I don't like about this reading is this right here. Um, magician, seven of swords, five of swords, like super tricky energy. And... Then you have the Eight of Swords right here. Um, this kind of gives me the vibes of tricking yourself out of something or, you know, tricking yourself into something, <laughs> you know, take it how it resonates. I would look at where you are feeling trapped. This could be a relationship. Maybe you feel trapped in the relationship or like you can't leave, but I actually feel like you can. The reading is encouraging you to find balance. Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles is like saying, like, why aren't you balancing things out? That's what it's saying to me in your life. It's like you're in something, you might be you might be in something that isn't balanced or where you feel trapped. Um, and, you know, I would be careful of that. The other thing is you could be tricking yourself out of something. And I feel especially that could be financial. Like, you know, I feel like this reading is almost saying like, don't settle. If you have some crazy big idea about your business or something like that, go for it is what this reading is saying. I feel like it's saying don't accept less, you know. Um, you know, I think there are moments in life where it's like, you know, we start a business and maybe we make a certain amount of money, money and we're like, okay, this is good. You know, I'll just stop here. I feel like this is saying no, there is no stop here. <laughs> there is no just settling for less than what you thought. I feel like there could be a lot of fears and things being pointed out to you um, where you're saying to yourself like, um, oh, if I make more, I'm going to have to pay more taxes or I'm going to have to hire people and things like that. I feel like the universe is encouraging you to grow here and wants you to do things, you know, wants you to grow and become as much as you possibly can. And I always get comments from people who are always like, how much do you need to make? How, how much is too much? And all this other stuff. Don't listen to those people. Those people are losers, right? We are here to create as much as we possibly can and be, to grow and be as abundant as we possibly can. So uh, that's my belief that I want people to grow, be as big as they possibly can, make as much as they possibly can, create as much abundance as they possibly can, no limits, right? So I think those people that come from limits, those people are evil. Limitations are basically evil. We live in an abundant universe, right? And I feel like that's what you need to get through your head uh, right here is that we live in an abundant universe. You have the Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles is focused work. You know, you can see here he's focusing on one thing. Every single sign has had the Eight of Pentacles or the Nine of Pentacles. Both cards represent focus to me. Eight of Pentacles is a little bit different. He's focusing on working on one thing. The Nine of Pentacles, she is focused on training her focus. She has normally the, the falcon on her arm, you know, or on her hand. She has the falconer's glove on the Nine of Pentacles. And it's like she is training herself to be focused. But she is pretty focused. And she's also highly skilled. The Eight of Pentacles, again, a little bit different because he's either learning a skill or he's mastering a craft. So some of you might be learning or have been learning for years, I feel, uh, some sort of skill or craft. Right now... I kind of see this as you thinking um, like harder, not smarter, <laughs> is what I would say here. It's kind of funny, like going this way, harder, five of swords, like wanting to quit, wanting to give up. Going this way, six of pentacles. You know, six of pentacles reminds me of the answer to 2022. I said at the beginning of 2022, the answer would be the justice card. Six of pentacles, very close to the justice card. And both cards to me represent cause and effect. If I do this, do I get a result? 
If I take an action, what result do I get? That's what I would be focusing on. If you have a business, a career, even a relationship, I would say, if I do something, do I get something back, right? I think even in relationships, sometimes we don't pay attention. It's like maybe we do things and the other person doesn't thank us for it or isn't, maybe we feel like they're not grateful for the things that we do, but little do we know, or maybe we just don't pay attention, that they just don't care about it, right? Maybe there are other things that if we did them for that person, they would be more grateful for. And I'm not saying it's about like doing things for, to make someone grateful but you know I feel like sometimes we do things that we think are going to be great for the person but we don't actually communicate and see like what do they want what do I want are we both getting our needs met that's six of pentacles like having those discussions part of me feels like the problem with that is that it's not sexy to do that in a relationship right and I do believe you know personally that we have to keep the romance alive in love if we want to have a successful relationship but I kind of feel like Something needs to be figured out here is what I'll, I will say. Uh, next, you have the uh, King of Pentacles. <coughs> Excuse me. King of Pentacles, really good card. I feel like you're entering into a time of stability, but I also feel like you need to move away from the King of Pentacles. You and your opposite sign, Leo, always get this, um, you know, this message. I like the King of Pentacles, don't get me wrong, but he is the card of convention. He is the way of thing that, you know, the way things have always been done. This is in business and love and pretty much everything. The problem is we're entering into a new world, you know, so to, you know, new world, right? It, it's going to look exactly like this. You know, it's not like we're entering into a new world. Uh, you know, I just think we're entering into a new energy. And so things are changing. And it's like the old ways aren't going to work as much any longer. So we have to try new things in all areas of our life. We have to be open to innovation. The people who are open to changes and are, are willing to kind of like roll with the punches and all that other stuff are going to be very successful because they're going to be able to adapt easier. And that's what I feel like this is encouraging you to do. You have the Queen of Cups, the Seven of Swords, and the Two of Wands. I, uh, every single person has had something about focusing on their emotions. And the Queen of Cups is about, you know, really valuing how you feel about things, really caring about your feelings, basically. And um, that's all she does. If, if something feels good, she does it. If something doesn't feel good, she doesn't do it. Six of Pentacles. Again, do you get energy back from the work that you put into something or not? <laughs> you know, that is, that is the question with the Six of Pentacles. You have the Seven of Swords here. Seven of Swords can represent lying, cheating, stealing. Uh, again, I do not, I do not like this right here. To me, this looks like a separation or a breakup due to either lying, cheating, stealing. I mean, this is trickster energy right here, um, magician, Seven of Swords, uh, or you, you know, you were dealing with a tricky person, someone who couldn't be honest. You know, it's going to be different for all of you, but I feel like some of you could be exiting a situation that was like that, where you feel tricked. Uh, on, on top of that, the Seven of Swords encourages you to do things differently, just like we've been talking about. You can see that he's stealing these swords from an army that's in the background, and it just kind of represents going to war, but in a different way. And I feel this right here. It's like you're working too hard on something, and I feel like things by doing things differently, it could balance things out and make things much easier in your life is what this reading is encouraging you to do. It's like saying... There are different ways to run your business if that's what's hard. Like wherever you're spending the most time with this Ten of Wands, that's what I would be looking at if I were you and saying, like, how can I make this more efficient? It's not about making it necessarily easier, but it's like, you know, if there's one way to run your business where every, and maybe instead of an like an hour worth of work being worth an hour, an hour worth of work is actually worth like four hours because you're more efficient, then, you know, you're, you're going to want to figure that out, right? Same thing in love. It's like, maybe you're trying to do things for your partner, but maybe they don't care. And maybe there are other things that do they do care about, much more efficient, creates a much better a relationship or maybe a quick communication with um, maybe there's something you need right and a quick communication with your partner they'll be like oh I didn't even know and they'll, then they'll fix it right I feel like 90% of our problems in relationships could probably be you know fixed by just like asking the person what's up right and that's what I get here uh, you have the two wands here Two Wands is, is like a little bit of taking the lead energy. So I like, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. You know, like I said, I feel like in a relationship that you might need to be the one to speak up here if there's something going on. I, I don't know why I feel that, but I do feel something here if you are in a relationship. So <clears throat> I would definitely open your mouth. I feel like it'll solve it very quickly. 
with this Six of Pentacles, I feel like someone feels left out. You know, that's the best way I could describe it, whether it's you or your person. doesn't matter. <laughs> I would just say what matters is it can be fixed, right? And that's the whole point of tarot. Uh, same thing financially, but again, the difference here financially is doing something different. He is standing at the top of a castle. He is where he has always been, and he just needs to do things differently. He just needs to realize that, you know, he, he, he the whole story of the Tuans is that he's standing at the top of that castle, and he's like feeling disappointed because he feels like he has experienced everything there is to experience, but he has that whole world in his hands. He can, ac he can accomplish and do so much. Uh, next, you have the It Is What It Is card here. So I feel for some of you, this is kind of like saying that it is what it is, a situation, but I kind of feel you're leaving this behind. You know, maybe you've been in this mode for a long time. You know, I, I feel like you don't want to feel this way, <laughs> which is kind of interesting. I, I'm not saying you feel like a victim. You know, that's not what I'm suggesting here, Aquarius. But I almost feel like maybe you've surren you surrendered to something like a year ago or like two years ago, it feels like to me. Um, you know, maybe it was a little bit of time, you know, a little bit of time ago. And I feel like something is kind of resurfacing here, which is very interesting, but I feel it's more like a thought or an experience that you had in the past where maybe it's like you felt like you had no control over something. And I feel you're revisiting this. Why? Well, you have the Six of Pentacles, Eight of Swords, Five of Swords. I feel like the universe is trying to teach you that you're not stuck, you know? Uh, you have the Eight of Swords here. Eight of Swords is self-imposed restriction. But with the Eight of Swords, we need to realize that we are not stuck. We can set ourselves free. She could easily, you know, the whole story of her is that she could easily set her arms free by leaning up against the swords behind her. She could take her blindfold off and she would see that she's not surrounded, that she could easily step forward. So I kind of feel this need to open your eyes Five of Swords, definitely some sort of separation. Kind of weird. I, you know, for some of you, I feel like you could be separating from this tricky energy here. For some of you, I feel like it's just a tricky situation. Like, you know, take it how it resonates. And some of you, there might be like family involved or, you know, I don't know, whatever. Something's going on here. <laughs> and I feel like it, like a little stuck. Uh, you have the Six of Pentacles. Again, the solution to your reading. Six of Pentacles, he's holding a scale right here, just like on the justice card. And the scale on the tarot kind of represents cause and effect. It represents if I put energy into this side of the scale, does it return energy to me? So I feel like you need to pay attention to, to that. And I also feel, again, that you're becoming more efficient in your life um, by you know, kind of paying attention to cause and effect. Like if you do this amount of work, what do you get for it? Same thing in relationships. Um, let's see what's going on here. With the magician, you have the strength card. I feel like you've been very patient at this time. <coughs> Excuse me. The strength card is a card of patience. It's also a card of kind of your inner demons, your inner monster, whatever you want to call it. Normally, the lady has her hands in the lion's mouth, and the lion has its leg, tail between its legs. And it kind of represents the fact that, you know, she works on herself every single day, and, you know, her inner demons. And I feel like you've been working on yourself a lot. With the Eight of Pentacles, here you go. Like I said, <laughs> you have the Ten of Wands. To me, this is basically just the universe saying I meant what I said. You know, to me, this is saying that some. it's almost like you're working too hard. I, I, I'm not suggesting that you shouldn't work hard. I love working hard. I work all day long, you know, uh, and I work on multiple things, not just this channel. And, you know, so I love working. I totally get it. But I feel like this is saying it would be better for you to be, to figure out how to be more efficient. Like if you're, if you have a business, for example, and you are thinking to yourself, I need to do more, I would say, no, that's wrong. <laughs> this is encouraging you. It's, it, it's not saying don't do more, but it is saying be more efficient. Efficient. You know, there are maybe some more efficient ways for you to do the things that you do in work and business. Same thing in love as well. It's like I feel that if you want love or if you already have it in your life, I feel like there are ways to that where the relationship could be more efficient or, you know, something. With the Ten of Wands, you have the Page of Cups here. Some of you, I feel like you're trying to balance out love and work or career. That could be something you're trying to balance out. Some of you are probably wondering if you even want love or career. It's like you're kind of going back between the two. You know, I see you kind of going back and forth here between those two things. You might be thinking work is, work, work is a burden. Love is a burden. <laughs> you know, it's like burden, burden, burden. I feel like it's more, again, about being efficient and saying, no, you can't have both things, but you just have to figure out how to be efficient about it. With the Queen of Cups, you have the Four of Pentacles here. Four of Pentacles, she's holding on too tightly to something. I mean, you know, normally the Four of Pentacles is about holding on too tightly to something. I kind of feel that energy here. Again, I'm not very crazy about like this right here, you know, this little Z, whatever you want to call it. Um, 
You know, I almost feel like she's holding too, on too tightly to certain emotions that could be causing her um, Ten of Wands, this Queen of Cups. So I feel for a lot of you, it's like there might be certain things that you are feeling. And I, I just feel like examining your feelings might be a good idea. With the um, Seven of Swords, here you go. You have the Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles, card of independence, but it's also a card of like balancing your energy. Normally, she has six pentacles on one side, three pentacles on the other, and it kind of represents her being in balance. She is willing to give three pentacles to a situation, but she also is keeps the six pentacles for herself. It's funny that I said, you know, that the eight of pentacles, nine of pentacles in the beginning of the reading. Here you go, right here, exactly what I was talking about. So, uh, very interesting. With the two of wands, you have the temperance card. Hmm. No, I feel like you shouldn't be patient any longer is what I would say here. I feel like you've been trying, you tried to turn a situation around. For some of you, you know, this right here could be a relationship you're leaving because you tried to improve it. You tried to fix it and you're finally making the decision to leave it because there isn't any balance. So you're like, I feel like this has already been done. That's what I feel intuitively. The interesting thing is independence on the nine of pentacles I would also say there is this heron right here. Uh, the totem meaning for herons is like self-reliance, basically being independent, being able to take care of yourself. So, you know, I feel like there's like a little bit of an independent streak going on here or the strength card, you are kind of working. Um, I just wanted to make sure my mic, I didn't just hit it off. But, um, you know, I feel like you are kind of like working on becoming more independent. Probably not a bad thing. Um, you know, sometimes I feel like, the, you know, I, I've talked about this before. I feel like there's toxic independence, but this feels more like you're just, you know, improving your life. With the uh, Six of Pentacles, you have the Two of Pentacles. A lot of choice here. doesn't really surprise me. Pretty much everybody has a choice, and we always have choices, right? <laughs> but um, Two of Pentacles, like juggling, you know, so definitely, you know, Seven of Swords, a lot of juggling energy. I feel like a decision needs to be made. It's like two things here with the Six of Pentacles to give to. I feel like the Two of Pentacles is like saying, pick one thing and, and give your energy to it right now. And, and then in the future, maybe you can give to the other thing. Could be two businesses, could be two people, could be a business and a person, you know, could be anything. I do feel like a decision needs to be made. With the Eight of Swords, once you set yourself free, this is what you get, a change in your fortunes with the Wheel of Fortune. So I definitely feel like you need to set yourself free from something that you are not receiving energy from. Again, you're receiving energy from one thing, not the other. That's the answer. With the Five of Swords, you have the Three of Pentacles. I would move towards teamwork. This could be with a person. Maybe there's a person who wants to work on a team with you in love, business, or otherwise. And I feel that is kind of where you what you should move towards. Three Pentacles is a great card of collaboration and working together. It's also a card of quality work as well. So like I said, I feel like this has to do with like efficiency, you know, being efficient in your life <coughs> in doing the, the quality work. It reminds me of YouTube. It's funny, I was watching a video the other day about Mr. Beast, right? He does like one video a month, but it's super high quality and he gets millions and millions of views. Other people do like a million videos a month and they get like no views, right? So it all boils down to like efficiency and quality for you with that three of pentacles. Um, I also feel like setting yourself free from something that isn't, that you are not receiving anything from is going to be, you know, is going to lead to this turnaround with the Wheel of Fortune. But uh, really good reading here, Aquarius. I like it. I like where it's headed. Definitely a lot of abundance. So thank you for being here. Really appreciate it. Make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising for a full picture of what's going on for you at this time. But thank you and definitely enjoy your month.